Well, the British Royal Force has reached new heights this week. The UK inducted its first ever drone strike from British soil. That's to say, from a drone control center in Waddington. Before, all drone operations were remotely controlled from an American base in Nevada. The British force used an MQ 9 Reaper drone to support its troops in Afghanistan's Helmand province. RT international correspondent Sarah Firth has more. Well, the world's military drones used to be directed from a small U.S. base in Nevada, but no more after the U.K. carried out its first drone strike in Afghanistan, launched from U.K. soil at an RAF base in Lincolnshire. Now, not many official details have been released about that drone strike, and nor are many likely to be, given the level of secrecy surrounding British drone use. The Ministry of Defence have confirmed that one of their Reaper drones, controlled by pilots, from 13th Squadron at RAF Waddington in Lincolnshire, fired a weapon supporting UK troops on the ground in Afghanistan. Now, this has caused huge concern amongst anti-drone campaigners. At a recent protest here in the UK, the organisers had said that they see this as a sign that there will be further civilian casualties as a result of drone use and also uh, that politicians would, it would make it easier for them uh, to be able to carry out military intervention. Uh, now, certainly many have seen this as a sign that this uh, use and control of advanced drone technology has now spread far beyond the US. Indeed, Britain alone has invested more than $3 billion, that's about £2 billion, in drone development, and there are plans to further expand its drone arsenal. Now, the controversy surrounding the use of drones is highlighted again at the beginning of this year when the UN launched an investigation uh, looking at the extent of civilian casualties, but also at the legality surrounding drone use. Now, a research team from a London university are assisting them in that investigation, and their findings are going to be presented to the UN General Assembly in the autumn, and based on what they find, they could then recommend that further action be taken as we're seeing this increased drone usage with the UK having launched its first strike. It's uh, proving ever more important to many campaigners that the legality and the questions over drone use are now addressed properly in a clear and open arena. That was RT International correspondent Sarah Firth.